Unbelievable. You told him it's a credible threat. I understand that. There are hundreds of lives at risk. I hope you're wrong about this, Jensen. So do I. Fine. Fine. Have your men pull back until I can talk to him myself. Miller out. Changing plans. Mac, you and your team will rendezvous with our London division. Secure the perimeter until I tell you to come back in. Jensen, you and I are on the roof. Is there a problem? Map it up, gentlemen. Approaching the target building now. Get your coat. You're gonna need it. I don't have to tell you what's happening. You know the drill. There are people down there. Radical, augmented people who've been sidelined by this world and who think the only way to stop the oppression is by tearing down everything in their way. Their grievances may be just, maybe they should be heard, but never on these terms. The world may be going to shit, but we're here to stand against the chaos. Every one of the guests down there are counting on us to keep them safe. Let's make sure we do. Director Miller, I'm Nathaniel Brown. Well, thank you for agreeing to handle this discreetly. We didn't exactly have a choice. You threatened to invoke the Corporate Sovereignty Act. I gave your London division a full day to sweep for explosives. They found nothing. It's not just bombs we're concerned with. I've also replaced all the food and beverage brought in extra guards from Tarvis Security Services and ordered the men to work with your team when it arrives. Trust me, I'm taking this threat very seriously. Then why not cancel the event? This isn't the first time extremists have threatened to tear down the Safe Harbor Initiative. pro og supporters think we're profiting from their misery, promoting more failures like Gollum City. While anti og racists can't stand the thought of any augmented person living in peace, Canceling this event will only embolden all of them. The men planning to attack here tonight are no ordinary extremists. They murdered Talus Rucker, and they want to frame the Augmented Rights Coalition if their attack tonight succeeds. Is this true? How do you know it? How does it matter? We're here because of a credible threat against you and your Safe Harbor Convention. These men are out to stop you. They know you've been campaigning against the Human Restoration Act. They need it to pass. They don't care how many lives they destroy as long as that happens. But we do. It's Agent Jensen, isn't it? David Seraf told me about you. You might not believe this, Agent, but I'm also trying to save lives tonight. The lives of your people. Several members of the UN Security Council are on my guest list tonight. I plan to convince them just how wrong the act really is. Talus Rucker couldn't stop it from passing. But I can. Where are you meeting them? In a secure conference room off the reception hall. Men from your London division have already cleared it. Doesn't matter. I want to see this room myself. And I want Agent Jensen here to coordinate with Tarvos security, while the rest of my team re-examines the building. Discreetly, of course. The head of our Tarvis division is Liam Slate. He's waiting for your man to join him in the central security office. Go see him, Agent. And keep McCready and me in the loop. Mr. Brown, if you'll show me that conference room.
Alex, I'm at the Apex Center. Brown's got members of the Security Council here tonight. Members sympathetic to Og rights. You understand they must be protected at all costs. Janus? Were you eavesdropping on me? Uh, forgive me, but the situation did seem to merit it. Right. Well, if I need your advice tonight, I'll ask. The Illuminati already tried once to control human evolution. Having failed, it appears that some of them now are pushing for complete eradication of your kind. We need to stop them. Brown and the people he's meeting with tonight may be the only ones who can. Adam, Janus is right. We'll see. Move away. Access to this part of the building is restricted. Security personnel only. Chief Slater is expecting me. Chief... Oh, right. He's, um, unavailable at the moment. Urgent matter. The urgent matter is why I'm here. I'm sorry. Who did you say you were with? You know what? It's fine. I don't want to disturb the man if he's into something. I'll come back. Sure. I'll tell the boss you are here. Miller. McCready. Tarvos isn't letting me in. The guard I spoke to... Uh, something's not right here. McCready, anyone from Tarvos security contact you yet? Negative. Which is odd, actually. Shit. If the building's already compromised, where? Forget it. We stay on task. Jensen, get inside Slater's office and find out what's going on. Copy that. Max, send a team up for support right away. Already on the way. <laughs> Connected to network. All quiet confirmed. Miller, McCready, I've got Tarvos bodies up here. We are definitely compromised. Fuck. All right, men, listen up. We expected something like this. Mac, how close are you to the CSO? Entering the stab... Oh, shit. Fucking doors are on security lockdown. I can't go anywhere but back. Jensen, there should be a security override switch inside Slater's office. Get in there, get the doors unlocked, and get Mac and his team moving again. Copy that. This will show them. Security systems active. Three months. I can't imagine being undercover for that long. It was not easy, but it was worth it. You look at the results. Took them all up, not one shot fired. Exactly as planned. Tonight's festivities go off with the same precision. Not to worry. Parvo security service is on the case. <laughs> Clear patrol, confirm. Can confirm. Roger, proceed. Waypoint clear, confirm. My friends, there's been darkness in the world of late. But where there is darkness, there is also opportunity. And we must seize it. We are the ones who can bring light back into the world. If we must, we will take up that torch and we will make sure that all the augmented have a chance to live with dignity. I'd like to propose a toast. Miller, McCready. CCTV shows another compromised area. Back of the house, looks like catering. I've got eyes on that area as well. It looks like our bogus Tavos units are using a guarded security door to access the reception hall. Oh, fuck! They're everywhere, circulating among the guests. 
What are they playing at? Why aren't they fucking shooting yet? Jensen, any sign of Marchenko or the Orchid? Negative. Neither. Miller, can you get to Brown? I'm moving to him now. But Jensen, we need to know if the Orchid is in play. Get down here, circulate and find a key to that door. One of the guards must have it on him. Copy that. But it'd be easier if I knew how many guards I'm dealing with. I'll upload their patrol routes to your retina log. But we don't want all hell breaking loose down here. So take them down quietly. Mac, you rally with Jensen ASAP. I'll pick up Brown and get him safe. Good luck, men. Moving to phase two. Security systems active. Confirmed. Confirmed. Area clear. I'm inside the reception hall. Got eyes on some of the guards, but there's no telling which one is the key card. Well, you'll find it soon enough, mate, because you need to take them all out. Can't have anyone in the weeds, yeah? And do it quietly. I'm close to your position now. I'll see you soon. Got to have that key card. Search them well. I took down another guard. Still got nothing. I'll keep looking. Copy that. Yes, you Hey, are you wrong? Yes, sir. It just doesn't seem in the Should be in the catering area soon. You guys copy? <coughs> uh, Miller! 
Jensen, you better have fucking but stairwells with rigged with trip wires. <coughs> Are you okay? Is it the bombs? <coughs> no, negative. Just some low yield shit. I'm fine. Look, uh, I gotta work around this debris. It's gonna take me a while longer to reach you. No worries, I got this one. Just be safe. And Jensen, listen. We're lucky I didn't fuck it all with the racket I made, so you need to make sure the reception hall is cleared before you press on. Yeah? Mac out! Can't wait for the action to start. <laughs>
gotten enough to from the CSO in a while. care of all enemy units in the reception hall. The place is clear. Copy that. Moving into the catering area now. All right, Miller, McCready. I'm inside catering. Jensen, I think my comms might still be fucked after that stairwell explosion. Are you getting anything from Miller? Negative. Miller, you hearing us? Jesus Christ, this whole fucking building's gone daffy. Wouldn't be surprised if it's in the air. Well, look, I can read you fine, so just keep me posted. hurt. Bad. I need backup in the catering area. Jensen, Christ. <sighs> Don't try to move, Jim. Helps you be on its way soon. No. No. Forget about me. <sighs> You've got to find Brown. Warn him. The, the gold mask. They, they poisoned the champagne. Send it to meeting rooms. Beyond the, the reception hall. <sighs> Try to stop her. But I ended up here. <sighs> Cree, the orchid is in play. We need to. Ah! You should be dead, Adam Jensen. Instead, you show up here with your comrades in tow, forcing me to adapt to the situation. So, poisoning Brown and the delegates, that's your plan B? Sorry, brother, it's not gonna work. You only see a piece of the picture. Maybe you can save those rich bastards. Maybe in some grand hypothetical future, doing so will erase the damage that has been done, restoring liberty and balance, improving the lives of millions of augmented people like us. But tonight, because of you, hundreds of men, women, and children must be sacrificed. Because of your interference, I had to place explosives in the residential towers across the way. I can send a detonation signal at any time. But if you come to the exhibition hall right now, maybe I won't have to. We can avoid another unnecessary tragedy, brother. Provided you don't take too long to reach me. McCready. Bombs. I heard. I don't know if I'll find him in time, but I'm already on it. Fucking hell! Shit. You, you've got to stop this psycho, Jensen. Just hang on, Miller. I'll find... No time. Or force me to drink. Too late for me, Jensen, but you... There's still time to save the others. Forced you to drink... the orchid. I have the antidote. What? How did... There's still time. No. Forget it. 
Not worth wasting on just one life. The others might need it. I won't sit here and let you die. Disobeying orders. I thought you said you weren't going to be a problem. Just take it easy. You'll be okay. Let the antidote do its thing. You were right. About everything. I'm sorry, Adam. That's not important now. No, it is. My God always told me to trust you. <laughs> Should have listened more. Go. The meeting room. Say Brown. And put this bastard down. Adam, it's me. That pocket secretary in Hong Kong. It went live a few seconds ago, just long enough to shoot out a message. You intercepted it? Yeah, but it's cryptic. Looks like meeting in session. Proceed with delivery. Key 2202. As we consider the importance of this moment on a national level, on a global level, on a humanitarian level... Nobody drink. The champagne's been poisoned. But I had it replaced. It's a cuvée de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? 
Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us, but what about the other attendees? TF-29 will evacuate them. I'm going after the people who did this. Then you have a long way to climb. McCready, I got to Brown, warned him about the champagne. The security team is getting him and his guests to see. Good, that. Fucking Marchenko wasn't lying, though. The residential towers are packed solid with explosives. If he uses that remote detonator... I'm heading to the exhibition hall now to stop him. Get your team started on defusing those bombs. Maybe with a little luck we can pull this off. Luck? We're both gonna need a shitload of that, mate. I'll see you on the other side. Why have you not come? Is your faith in hypotheticals truly that strong? Apparently not. You have made the right choice, brother. Why should so many die so loudly when a far more subtle message can be sent? To achieve my mission, I only need Brown and his guests to die. And you, of course. Now show yourself! I'm taking you down, Victor. I do not fear death. Nor do I revel in it, brother. But for some I am told that it can be a relief. Tonight, one of us will find out if that is the truth. Greedy. It's over. Santo CEO Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his Safe Harbor Convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear, nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations it stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true.
This is Eliza Hey, are you even listening to this? Why? We won! From Pike. Did we? <laughs> we completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. You've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Ficus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Honestly, I'm surprised you let him live. Marchenko knows things. Put him in a cell and might convince him to talk. Put him in the morgue and we get nothing. Let's hope his bosses aren't as smart as you are. Regardless, we want the men behind him. Behind the Human Restoration Act. The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderly and Page. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting face to face, or I find him myself. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? We have achieved the impossible in Prague last week. A break-in at the most secure data archiving facility in the world. According to rumors circulating the internet, forensic computer experts were invited to examine the Palisade Property Bank's lava wall defenses after one of its account holders reported an unusual data retrieval delay. No word yet on which account holder filed the report, or what information, if any, was accessed. Palisade Bank Corporation owners released a statement earlier this evening, claiming that any rumors of a break-in at our highly secured facility are just that. Rumors. Between you and me, folks, I think they doth protest too much. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. Augmented terrorist Viktor Marchenko, whom law enforcement officials describe as being instrumental in the planning and execution of devastating violence in London last week, is being moved to a secure facility for questioning. A long-standing member of the Augmented Rights Coalition, Marchenko has been very outspoken about his motives for the attack, claiming it was appropriate retribution for injustices suffered by the Augmented. I do not know about you folks, but there is only one question I really want the answer to right now. When will the United Nations pass the Human Restoration Act so that dangerous killers like Marchenko can no longer terrorize us? It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding ARC-controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong, ARC? framed. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that Viktor Marchenko was not Ark. He was trying to kill Ark, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. I am 
sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikolatze, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikolatze has gone off the grid, and it is unlikely he will ever be found. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. News out of Paris today, where a sharp rise in illegal underground publications may have links to a prison escape recently orchestrated in Prague. Last week, Czech state police were holding members of the underground news group Samazdat on charges of disturbing the peace, human trafficking, and media terrorism. The radicals escaped their holding cell, however, and are believed to have subsequently made their way deeper into Western Europe. Shortly after their escape, a radical publication called Silhouette began appearing throughout France. Has Samistad rebranded itself as Silhouette? I am sure you will agree with me on this one, folks, no matter what name these people go by. There is nothing more dangerous than the spread of false news. Turning our attention now to a more colorful story. A recent incident inside an illegal underground drug laboratory has led authorities to the heart of Prague's neon operation. According to sources familiar with the new drug, the dangers of neon had more to do with illegal distribution methods and criminal ties than with consuming the drug itself. Make no mistake, folks, neon is illegal, and the dismantling of this laboratory is good news for everyone. However, some government officials have hinted to me that the drug may have therapeutic benefits, and if so, a government-approved version of Neon could be made available to the public eventually. Further testing will be required, of course, so only time will tell. That is not the point! We should have all been informed! That is why we are here now! Volkart, what's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen. Who we believe may have had external help. Possibly by the Juggernaut Collective or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. It's your own fault. I'm aware of that, Doctor. Elizabeth sends her regards. Hmm. Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent with the program. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact with Janus? Very. And it's only a matter of time.